Target Canada Company was a Canadian subsidiary of United States-based discount department store chain Target Corporation, formed in 2011 to oversee the company's Canadian operations. Target Canada's main rival in the discount store category was Walmart. It also competed with supermarket chains such as Loblaws, Metro, and Sobeys, and other retailers such as Sears Canada, Canadian Tire, Shoppers Drug Mart, Rexall, and Giant Tiger. In 2011, Target acquired the leaseholds of 189 locations operated by Hudson's Bay Company's LS discount chain, with the intent to use 125 of these sites to open Target stores in 2013. Target opened its first Canadian stores in March 2013. By January 2015, it had 133 locations across the country. The chain's Canadian expansion was commercially unsuccessful, as the chain did not live up to the high expectations of Canadian consumers because it had higher product prices and less product selection than U.S. Target stores. Store traffic and sales fell significantly in the months following the store openings, while analysts believed that Target was being too aggressive in building its Canadian operations. Target Canada racked up losses of $2.1 billion in its short life, and the store's expansion was characterized by the Canadian and U.S. media as a spectacular failure, an unmitigated disaster, and a gold standard case study in what retailers should not do when they enter a new market. On January 15, 2015, Target Canada filed for bankruptcy, announced that it would close all of its Canadian stores, and began liquidating their inventory. All Target Canada stores were closed by April 12, 2015. History equals trademark issues before 2010 equals, in the absence of the Target Corporation chain in Canada, a number of retail companies, without any affiliation to the American company, made use of the Target name for various purposes. A regional variety store chain in Newfoundland and Labrador operated under the Target banner during the 1980s and early 1990s. There has also been a liquor store named Target Liquor in Alberta, and a Target convenience store chain based in Toronto. Before it entered Canada, Target Corporation attempted to solidify its rights to the Target brand name in Canada by buying the Canadian trademark rights of some of these existing users, in addition to filing new applications of its own. Target Apparel Trademark Agreement Target's expansion into Canada was threatened by one other party that claimed the Canadian rights to Target with respect to clothing. The Canadian trademark Target Apparel was registered in 1981 by Delex Limited, a Canadian retailer defunct since the early 2010s, covering men's clothing, namely suits, pants, jackets, and coats. The rights to the mark were acquired in 2001 by Fairweather Limited, part of the incorporated group of companies owned by Isaac Beneter. Target Apparel originally served as a private label clothing brand, and not as the name of a retail store and Fairweather would not apply to extend its trademark to cover retail services until April 2011. Incorporated Group opened a small Target apparel retail store adjacent to the company's head office in December 2003. In late 2010, soon after Target's announcement that it planned to expand into Canada, Incorporated began expanding the banner to other higher-profile locations, including conversions of some of its existing label stores. Target challenged Incorporated's rights to the Target apparel trade name on numerous occasions. Incorporated had succeeded in retaining those rights, but faced a further court challenge with a trial set to start in 2012. On February 1, 2012, it was announced that Fairweather Limited and Target reached an agreement concerning the use of the Target name in Canada. Under said agreement, Fairweather would cease use of the Target apparel name by 2013 giving Target Canada complete ownership of the Target brand in Canada. Equals 2010, consideration of Canadian operations equals, regular rumors surfaced since at least 2004 that Target was interested in expanding into Canada by acquiring Zellers outright. In January 2010, Target publicly indicated long-term plans to expand internationally, likely including Canada, but that those plans would not take effect until 2013 at the earliest equals 2011 a Euro 2013, leaseholds acquisition and partnership equals, on January 13, 2011, 
Target announced that it would purchase the lease agreements of up to 220 Zellers stores for 1.825 billion Canadian dollars. Under the agreement, Zellers would sublease the properties and continue to operate them as Zellers locations until at least January 2012 and at latest the end of March 2013. Target did not buy the Zellers chain, which was left with 64 stores in less desirable locations. HBC failed to find a buyer for the remaining stores and planned to continue operating Zellers as a smaller chain. However the geographical constraints of serving these bar-flung Zellers outlets meant that operating them was no longer economically viable, so HBC announced on July 26, 2012, that it would close almost all of these stores. In May 2011, Target revealed its first 105 selections and stated that the vast majority of those in this first group would be converted to Target outlets. In September 2011, Target unveiled 84 additional selections, bringing the number of Zellers leases acquired to 189. The first store opening cycle would be in March-April 2013, followed by four additional cycles later that year. Zellers locations to be converted were typically closed for six to nine months for significant remodeling and renovation. Target announced plans to hire 27,000 new employees to support its expansion into Canada, including 5,000 in Quebec, and that its food and grocery items in Canada would be supplied by Sobeys. After the Zellers stores at the selected locations closed, Target planned to renovate between 125 and 135 of them, and reopen them under the Target banner. Target would sell the remaining 64 to 74 acquired locations to other retailers, including 39 already resold to Walmart Canada. Unlike Walmart's entry to Canada with the acquisition of the Wilco stores in 1994, Zellers employees were not retained by Target nor Walmart, and they had to reapply for their position to continue working in their same locations. Target Canada stated that former Zellers workers were guaranteed an interview though not a job. However the United Food and Commercial Workers of Canada complained that many Zellers employees were not hired, including those with long years of service. Target confirmed the list of its locations in July 2012. The chain finalized its 127 stores to open in 2013. Of this total, 125 were converted to former Zellers stores. The other two locations in Niagara Falls and Centre Laval were sites that had been occupied by Walmart stores. The first Target stores in Canada were opened on March 5, 2013 in the Ontario communities of Guelph, Fergus, and Milton, being close to one of Target Canada's three distribution centres. Equals 2013 a Euro 2015, years of operation equals, on March 5, 2013, three Target stores in Milton, Fergus and Guelph, Ontario were open to the public and operating as test stores, and a further 17 stores in Ontario opened on March 19, 2013. Four additional stores in Ontario were opened on March 28, 2013, followed by a number of openings in Western Canada in three provinces on May 6, 2013. Target opened more stores in four provinces including cities in Regina and Saskatoon on July 16, 2013. Target opened more stores between September 17 and October 18, including in the provinces of Quebec and Nova Scotia. It opened 33 locations between November 13 and 22, including in the provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland and Labrador. On March 14, 2014, Target opened three stores in the cities of Toronto, Edmonton and Victoria. On August 1, 2014, it opened three stores in the cities of Barrie, Mississauga and Kanduk, Quebec. Target Canada included smaller Starbucks stores in the majority of its locations. A notable Canadian clothing brand, Roots, was temporarily sold in Target Canada. Early results Target Canada President Tony Fisher expected that some Canadian consumers would continue to cross the border and shop at Target stores in the United States. Fisher acknowledged that the Canadian stores would not have price parity with their U.S. counterparts, saying transportation costs are higher, distribution costs are higher, fuel costs are higher, wage rates vary across the country, the tax rates are different, cost of goods are different, 
the duties a euro I think the scale we have here in Canada is quite different from the incredibly different, densely populated US marketplace. Because of complexities and other legal requirements, Target's existing distribution network could not be used to service Target's Canadian locations. In addition, Canadian Target stores did not have local authority to order their own merchandise. This resulted in the Windsor, Ontario stores stocking Toronto Maple Leafs and Toronto Blue Jays apparel, instead of that of the Detroit Red Wings and Detroit Tigers, which were more popular in Windsor, given its proximity to Detroit. Supply chain and demand issues also led to situations where some of the early locations were not adequately stocked in certain product categories, resulting in empty shelves. Target Corporation's expansion into Canada hoped to capitalize on Canadian shoppers who frequently crossed the border for its U.S. stores, however this may have backfired as Canadian shoppers felt that Target Canada stores failed to meet the high expectations set by their U.S. counterparts. Target Canada enjoyed a strong opening, but subsequent results were disappointing, dragging down its parent company's second quarter results. Despite the initial high traffic at Target's new stores, customers were not returning frequently enough to these stores to buy the basic household items, as that market was dominated by entrenched Canadian grocery and drug retail chains such as Loblaws, Shoppers Drug Mart, and Walmart Canada. In addition while Target Canada aimed to have its customers do one-stop shopping, Canadian consumers generally pick and choose between different retailer strengths. While Target Canada stores were said to be an improvement over the untidy Zellers stores, some Canadians lamented that they missed the deals found at Zellers. Paul Trussell, retailing analyst at Deutsche Bank, suggested that traffic has slowed below expectations in recent weeks, driven partly by Canadians' Euro unregistered trademark perception that prices are too high, both relative to Walmart Canada and Target Euro unregistered trademark SUS locations. While shoppers appreciate the higher quality assortment, especially in discretionary categories, the complaints on pricing were alarming. Target failed to anticipate that Canadian consumers would expect the retailer to match the lower prices in its U.S. stores, leading to some alienation and confusion, although Target CEO Greg Steenhafel defended this practice saying trying to compare prices at Target Canada with that of certain Target stores in the U.S. would be like comparing prices in Boston to prices in rural Iowa. Deutsche Bank a Euro unregistered trademark S pricing survey on 31 health, beauty and food items at Canadian Target and Walmart stores found that while Target had a cheaper basket of goods by 19 a cent, Walmart had a pricing advantage of 65% of the popular items in the basket thanks to its own rollback prices, likely furthering consumers a Euro unregistered trademark current price perceptions. Other American chains operating in Canada did not suffer a backlash from Canada-US pricing disparities as much, likely as Target had hyped its Canadian stores to provide the same experience as their US counterparts. Target projected for its Canadian operations to bring in 10% of its profits by 2017. However, experts suggested that it wanted too much and too quickly from Canadians, while underestimating domestic competition. The disappointing results from Canadian stores were said to be a major reason, along with the January 2014 major security breach, for the resignation of parent company CEO Greg Steenhafel though Target reiterated its commitment to the Canadian market. Two weeks after Stian Hafel's abrupt departure, Target Canada President Anthony S. Tony Fisher was dismissed and replaced by Mark Scheindel, who had been serving as Target's Senior Vice President of Merchandising Operations. Equals 2015, closure equals. On January 15, 2015. Target Canada announced that it had filed for bankruptcy and that it would close all 133 of its Canadian stores. Two planned new store openings, one at the Harbour Plaza condo project in the south core of downtown Toronto, and the Bayshore Shopping Centre in the west end of Ottawa, were cancelled due to the closure. The subsidiary was projected to only make a profit by 2021. By 2015, Target had lost $2.1 billion. Target Canada would have been unable to meet its employees' payroll for the week of January 16, 2015 if it had not filed for bankruptcy court protection from creditors. 
liquidation sales began at the stores the following day. Target began to close stores on March 18, 2015, with 16 locations scheduled to close that week, and 96 in total closed by April 5, 2015. The remaining 37 stores closed on April 12, 2015. In May 2015, the company returned some of its leases back to their landlords, and began the process of auctioning off leases and properties to other new owners. Canadian Tire announced plans to acquire 12 locations, Walmart Canada reached a deal to acquire 13 locations and one of its distribution centers, and Lowe's also reached a deal to acquire 13 locations and a distribution center. Giant Tiger also acquired a part of a Target location. Metro a Euro unregistered trademark S discount supermarket chain Super C will open stores in two former Target stores in Quebec. Target International Shopping In October 2015, Target began offering international shipping on goods sold on their online site, which includes Canada. Prices for Canadian shoppers are converted to Canadian dollars excluding duties and taxes. Timeline equals 2011 equals January 12th agreement signed January 13th announcement of sale May 26th announcement of first 105 site selections June 24th announcement of resale of 39 selections to Walmart September 23rd announcement of final 84 site selections and partnership with Sobeys equals 2012 equals January 31st, earliest possible date that target might require some acquired locations to be vacated by Zellers. Equals 2013 equals, March 5th, first target Canada locations open in Guelph, Fergus, and Milton, all of which are in Ontario, March 19th, more target Canada locations open in Ontario, including East York Town Centre, Aurora Shopping Centre, Cloverdale Mall, Cambridge Centre, Centre Mall, Shoppers World Brampton, Centre Point Mall, Taunton Road Power Centre, Masonville Place, Upper Canada Mall, Devonshire Mall, and Durham Centre. March 28, Burlington Mall, Shoppers World Danforth, Square One Shopping Centre and Trinity Common Mall locations open. March 31, all acquired locations must be vacated by Zellers by this date. May 7, more Target Canada stores open in nine British Columbia locations, ten Alberta locations and three Manitoba locations. May 14, Target Canada stores open in Pine Centre Mall in Prince George and the shops at Shaughnessy in Calgary. July 16, Target Canada stores opens in two British Columbia locations, two Alberta locations, three Saskatchewan locations and 11 Ontario locations including Intercity Shopping Centre and Thunder Bay. July 23, the Catricky Centre location opens in Kingston, Ontario. July 30, the Bromelia City Centre location opens in Brampton, Ontario. September 17, Target Canada stores opens in four locations in eastern Ontario, seven Quebec locations and three Nova Scotia locations. October 18, Target Canada stores opens nine locations all in the province of Quebec. November 13, Target Canada opens 31 more locations in nine provinces including the provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland and Labrador. November 22, Target Canada opens two more locations in the Penn Centre and St. Catharines, Ontario and Carrefour d'Ulstrie and Shibrook, Quebec. Equals 2014 equals, March 14, Target Canada opens three locations in the Stockyards in Toronto, Ontario, Kingsway Mall in Edmonton, Alberta and Hillside Shopping Centre in Victoria, British Columbia. August 1, Target Canada opens three locations in Park Place in Barrie, Ontario, Erin Mills Town Centre in Mississauga, Ontario and Carrefour Kanduk in Kanduk, Quebec. October 17, Target Canada opens one location in Polo Park. Equals 2015 equals, January 15, Target announces it is ceasing all Canadian retail operations and will proceed to close 133 outlets. January 23, Target Canada closes all Starbucks outlets in their stores. February 4, Target Canada receives court approval to begin liquidation process. February 5, 
all Target Canada stores start liquidation process. March 6, Ivanhoe Cambridge and Oxford landlords purchase back 11 coveted Target store leases at Premier Mall locations for an estimated $138 million. March 18, Stratford, Ontario, Long Ewell and Edmonton locations close. March 22, 13 more locations close. March 2, 27 April, 62 more locations close. April 4, Bromelia City Centre store in Brampton closes with most other stores left open. April 12, all Target Canada stores were closed by this date. May 6, Canadian Tire acquires leases for 12 stores at a cost of $17.7 million. May 8, Walmart Canada acquires leases for 13 stores and distribution centre in Cornwall, Ontario for $165 million. The new stores will create about 3,400 jobs. May 11, Lowe's Canadian Unit acquires 13 store leases and distribution centre in Milton, Ontario for $151 million. The stores will create about 2,000 jobs. May 15, Target US has set up Employee Trust Fund to guarantee Target Canada team members get paid till May 15 whether store closed earlier or not. May 15, Rona, Inc. bought the lease for one store in Chilliwack, BC. 30 June, the court-approved real estate process is completed. July 24, Lowe's buys 12 stores and distribution center in Milton, Ontario for $147.75 million. August 28, Giant Tiger acquires 16,500 square feet of an approximately 100,000 square feet large Target store in Fergus, Ontario. This marks the discount chain's first such acquisition. This location is expected to open in the spring of 2016. Reed Card The Reed Card was offered in Canada as either a debit card or a credit card. Around 30,000 Canadians signed up for the Reed Card prior to stores opening. Like its American counterpart, the cards offered a 5% discount on almost all Target purchases and the debit card allowed up to a $60 cash withdrawal. The Canadian version did not offer free online shipping, a 30-day extended return period, a 1% donation to Car Euro 12 schools on almost all purchases, a Visa credit card or a store only credit card that are available in the United States. Target Canada continued to honor the Reed card throughout its liquidation sales. References External links, Off Target, How a U.S. Retail Giant Misread the Canadian Market Chris Sorensen, January 21, 2015, McLean's, Target International Site